Well, over the last couple of years, Hampton Roads has taken a hit from sequestration. And clearly that still is an overhang. Um, but in my most recent briefing with the Navy Secretary, there's, uh, I think, finally some pretty good news. Uh, part, um, it's really two pieces of news. First, that for the next few years, partially because of the scheduling of the refurbishing of carriers coming from the West Coast, uh, Hampton Roads is going to actually have five carriers plus one uh, in construction. So that will mean a plus up of over 2,500 uh, Navy personnel uh, in the region. I think that's terribly important and an affirmation of the fact that since we both build the carriers, refurbish the carriers, and home port carriers, uh, that because of this scheduling issue that uh, we're going to benefit for uh, the foreseeable future, and that is a very good news to the region. And, and do you think that will be like for the next five years, ten yeah, years? Yeah, I mean, there, there's, <clears throat> you know, I, I think the Navy will call this the next several years. There's some documentation that say, uh, appears that they, they're planning on about five years, and there'll be some rotation, but net-net uh, for our community that we were afraid a few years ago that we might actually go down a carrier uh, with a carrier moving to Mayport, which the combined congressional delegation, Democrats and Republicans came together and fought that off. At least for the next few years, we're not only going to go, not go down, but we're going to go up a carrier um, because of scheduling and construction and retrofitting. So okay. that's, that's good news. Now, again, I don't, I don't want to, you know, don't think we should pound our chests on this and recreate a battle with other states who are who are anxious to get carriers as well but the actual effect for the Hampton Roads economy is going to be good. Right. Equal um, go uh, I wanted to find out too and you started to answer the question a little bit there. What were the stakes and who who were you up against? Was it just Mayport or was it Well, the West well Coast Mayport Port as the well? decision had been made on Mayport a number of years ago. Uh -huh. This is really as much of a function of scheduling carriers for their retrofitting, some of the delays in the construction on the Ford. Uh, good news as well is uh, we've got confirmation that the Ford will be home ported in Norfolk. Um, there's a variety of factors that have gone into this. At the end of the day, it's, it's no other area net down one because in effect we've been operating over the last couple of years with 10 carriers rather than 11. And at least for the foreseeable future, we'll have five five carriers plus one uh, in, in Hampton Road. So that's, um, that's good news. Uh, we can't say it's going to be forever, but uh, if we can take that kind of economic boost for the next three to five years or even perhaps a little bit more, that's great for the region. Okay, and also not just the port, but with the Newport News shipbuilding and the refurbishing and the... And the right, well, we, we've, we've seen, we've had a... I think we've seen, while there's a lot of disagreements in Congress that... You know, our congressional delegation, House and Senate, Democrats and Republicans all put our shoulder to the wheel. We turned the administration around on the decommissioning of the George Washington and got that uh, refueled. We now see this good news and Navy's reaffirmation that Norfolk is uh, and the shipyards are the place we're going to build, uh, retrofit, and home port uh, our most in essential asset, our carriers. Uh, for the region itself, it means a plus up of over 2,500 Navy personnel, and that in itself is all great news. What is equally great news is the circumstances at Little Creek. Um, a few years back, the Navy was thinking they were going to, in effect, decommission Little Creek as a deep water port, and part of that was moving some ships to Mayport. Some of that's going on, but again, because the delegation hung together and we're able to get the $30 million into the Navy budget to help repair the electrical system at Little Creek. We now have Little Creek not only not on the endangered list, but by the year 2020, there will be four Amphib ships home ported there, which again is a plus up of uh, about 1,500 folks into the region. And most importantly, as we think long term, about the potential of future BRACs. It's the Navy's absolute seal of approval that they see Little Creek as a long-term home port, deep water home port uh, facility. For amphibious, yeah. Mm. Uh, 
have you done any studies or seen any data, Senator, as far as you had mentioned 2,500 personnel added for uh, Naval Station Norfolk with the Ford, as many as 1,500 added to Little Creek. with. Yeah, and and I, I think we shouldn't call that 2,500 necessarily for the Ford. This is more a case of, um, because that doesn't include an air wing, this is more about a case of as the ships come in and are ported for retrofit and refurbishing and okay. the fact that they, they will physically be there. What I don't want to you know, say is that this is some kind of, we shouldn't, I don't want to overstate the case here and say this is a permanent forever win that we're going to have five home ported plus one in, in the construction phase. I want to uh, you know, acknowledge that this is something for the foreseeable future and it's, and it's a number of years. Um, but for our community that's been hard hit by sequestration and the stupidity of, of that move, uh, this is some much needed good news. Sure. Have you uh, seen any numbers as far as what it means financially? You know, what the, the yeah. impact no. is. This is this is really uh, kind of first blush of the Navy's planning and their decision making. Mm -hmm. uh, I've had uh, conversations with um, uh, folks at the local level, and, and our local electeds are are very happy to hear this news. Um, you, I'm sure they'll do some analysis. Uh, again, it's important though that we still keep our eyes focused on getting rid of sequestration because that could, uh, you, you never know how that could further mess up uh, this good news. Um, but for the time being, uh, considering where we were um, two and a half years ago with ship repair contracts put on hold, the potential of the George Washington being decommissioned, um, and the potential of full-fledged sequestration and people being furloughed for uh, north of 20 days potential, we have made progress. We've got the ship repair contracts back online. We've got the refueling of the George Washington. We changed the administration's mind on that. And now we have these announcements about at least the temporary uh, porting of a, an additional carrier in Norfolk and uh, the permanent reinvestment in additional amphib ships at Little Creek. Sure. Uh, in your conversations with um, Secretary Mavis and anybody else at Navy, uh, is it still looking like next spring to commission the Ford? Like, uh, That's yeah. Uh, listen, I'm I'm uh, a, a, as someone where we've seen that date slip a few times. Um, my hope is sooner the better, and we've gonna, then got to move on to the next carrier, and we've got to obviously do that in a quicker, cheaper, more cost-effective way. Mm, but you've. You've, as far as you know, that's... Yeah, I, I've not seen any, again, I, I've not seen any evidence of additional slippage, um, and that's something I know Secretary Mavis is focused on, I'm focused on, um, but I don't want to, you know, uh, we didn't drill down in a, a great deal of detail on that subject. On that subject, okay. Um, very good then. Uh, so... We're looking at the Ford coming here when it is commissioned. Right. Um, that I think I, the community's expected, but yeah. but you know nothing's done until it's done, uh -huh. and 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 this is now the case that it is is done, and we are uh, the beneficiary for a number of years, um, partially due to scheduling and other matters in terms of retrofitting, partially because of some of the carriers on the west coast, their need to be overhauled here in uh, in Hampton Roads and Norfolk. Um, these are all good signs. Yeah. And so when, I just want to make sure I understand this too, when the Lincoln, the repairs on the Lincoln are completed and it goes back into service, then will some carrier from maybe the West Coast or right. something? There'll be, carrier carriers will cycle through. And again, as we cycle. know, yeah. that there'll be, some of these carriers will obviously be deployed at different times too. I, I, I want to be careful here how we, um, you know, it, we went back, when I heard the, the news at first, we went back a number of times to revalidate re all of this, and I want to frame this uh, appropriately, and I don't, again, uh, don't want to create another you know, congressional battle with other states. Um, this is the Navy's, but this is really, a, I think, the Navy's stamp of approval that uh, Hampton Roads is absolutely critical from building the carriers to retrofitting them, to home porting them, and uh, we're we're getting the advantage for the next few years of uh, uh, this additional carrier's presence. Great, Senator. Thanks very much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And have a great day. All right. Take care.